Unless you try to bring your best. Yeah. Oh, wait, damn, please. I want no fakes around me. Surrounded by the OG. That's Looky Every Loop, by the way. Catch head. that new heat, you know what I'm saying? Without me, it's on your way, nigga. Uh, Lucas Raps. I, Lucas Raps is a young rapper from Durban. Um, yeah. Young living legend in the making. So I was born in Cape Town, and then when I was around five, my parents moved to Durban. Durban is home. Went back to Durban, and that's where I pushed this whole music thing from. Skateboarding used to help me from not being in a lot of trouble. So, shout out to the skateboarding. I've been rapping since I was eight, so music has always been a part of my life, you know, with an everyday thing of just like, you know, rhyming or freestyling during your day. I took it very serious when I got into, like, you know, a group of, I, when I had the peers for it. That was around grade nine, grade 10. So before I came to Joburg, we were doing like uh, Mabala and F Inc. They were working together and doing these little runs with Red Bull. So I was going to um, universities and performing there every weekend, freestyling on the truck and doing those things. After that, I DM DJ Maparisa because he was in Durban. And I asked him if we could work, if I could come through and work, and he was like, yeah, pull up. And I pulled up and made seven songs in two nights. Then the Monday, he told me I need to come to Johannesburg. And then I was like, yo, hectic, I still have school. <laughs> I didn't even ask my parents or whatever, I just told them, I'll see you Friday. And then he booked the ticket, I told my parents, yo, um, I need to go to Joburg tomorrow, <laughs> which was, that was Thursday and Friday was the day I had to go. They weren't really about it, but they let me go. I came to Johannesburg. Uh, I worked on the song called Ammo. That was a song that DJ Maparisa dropped on the Black Boy mixtape. Um, yeah, I worked on Ammo, flew back to Durban, and then I was at school and I was like, no way. <laughs> I have to go back to the studio. That's where I can push my dream. Dropped out, flew to Joburg, and now I'm here. <laughs> Haven't left since. Every single gig, Corey put me on and was like, yo, freestyle, freestyle. And that's where I just started, you know, gaining some hype also with my Parisa. So shout out to Corey for that. When I'm making a song, I don't only focus on like the raps or the beat or whatever. I, firstly, one, I have to immerse myself in the beat that is in front of me right now. Once I'm feeling the beat, the raps just start flowing out naturally and then I just have to put them in one place and then we have a song. The studio session with Gemini Major make, uh, with the, during the making of Without Me, it was kind of like feeling like, yo, you done it through winning this competition. Now I'm here and I'm just like, yo, I wonder if people would really be able to live without me. So I was like feeling like, yo, if I had to eliminate myself from the equation, what's left of the equation? And then I made without me. Put me on competition came up. I was actually on Instagram and I saw it. And I was like, yo, I mean, I might as well just give it a try. I filled out the submission forms and yeah, I just waited for a reply. And then they called me and they said, yo, um, so you made the top five. Fast forward, thank you God, but you put me on winning now. So yeah, yo, it's, it's just been insane, I won't lie. It's been a trip. Winning the Put Me On competition got me a music video uh, directed by Nate Thomas, um, a song produced, a single produced by Gemini Major, and then PR for like the year, and also Puma. I'm fine. When, when I won the competition, we went to Gemini's place, you know, to celebrate and also to make the song. We made a few songs before we made without you. I think we made three songs before we made Without Me. And then when Without Me came, when I was writing the hook, when I done it in the studio to him, when I was rapping it to him, he was like, I bet this is the one. Let's go. And from when we had the hook, the song was already gone. So we already knew, okay, just two verses, hook, we done. Make it go crazy. Came back to sports scene, played it for them. They were, you know, they were happy. They were satisfied with the product. We were too. And then we took the, we took the, the audio, sent the audio to Nate for him to do a treatment. He made a crazy treatment. We shot the video. It was 
clean, crazy video. I don't like. It's gonna be a new me. GCC3 or a Lamborghini. But I never switch on my niggas. You know, the first thing that will always go through your head as a kid is excitement. Like, yo, I'm here with this person right now and it's actually happening. So just seeing them, it motivated me to be like, yo, these are actually guys from South Africa and I'm looking at them and they are accomplished. I can be one of them too. The Put Me On competition kind of like came up, like it showed its power when we were at Capsule Fest. And I didn't know I had that many fans. I was also nervous that day, super, super nervous. And I, I performed, we killed the Capsule Fest, was crazy. Just being the winner of the Put Me On competition, it helps you a lot. Like, it helped, well, personally, I speak for myself, it helped me a lot because I got to, like, tell people, like, yo, I actually accomplished this goal from this talent that I have. I dropped out of school and I won a Put Me On competition and I have a music video and I have Puma Deal. I, like, I have so many things to actually stand for. So for me, it meant a lot for me just to win this competition because I had a lot of people that were actually doubting me. I think for the kids that want to enter the 2020 competition, like, yo, or the next competition to come, like, yo, if you feel like you believe in yourself more than anyone else believes in you, remember when you sign, when I signed into this competition or when you signed into this competition, you have to make them fall in love with you. So they, you have to talk about yourself like you know who you are and you have to trust yourself. Shout out to the Put Me On competition. Let's go put on more kids, man. Let's make hip hop bigger. You know what I'm saying? For real. Without me, without me.